today, August 12th, is the birthday of James Sonny Melton. He should be 36, but died at 29 in Las Vegas. When the first shots rang out across the music festival grounds, Sonny grabbed his wife, Heather, turning her away from the gunshots and shielding her as they began to run. They only made it a few steps before he was shot in the back, and they both fell to the ground. Bullets continued to rain down on them, but Heather was protected by Sonny's body. Other survivors helped Heather get him into the back of a truck, along with another victim, and they sped to the nearest hospital. Dead on arrival, Sonny was officially the first victim to be identified. Because victims were pouring into the ER, Heather had just a few brief moments to hold her husband's hand and kiss and hug him before the room had to be used for another incoming victim. Sonny and Heather had traveled to Las Vegas to celebrate their first wedding anniversary. Heather credits Sonny with saving her twice. She met him five years earlier after a nasty divorce and wasn't ready for another relationship, but he gently and lovingly persisted. He proposed in February of 2016, and they were married later that year. They bought land and were building their dream home. Sonny didn't live to see it, but the home was completed in February 2018, and he is buried on their property. Sonny was a nurse and was devoted to serving his community. A community-based memorial scholarship in his name assists high school graduates pursuing nursing as a career. In addition, the Sonny Melton Living the Dream Foundation adopts community projects to continue his service and honor his memory. AR-15 style rifles, high capacity magazines and bump stocks enabled the shooter to fire over a thousand rounds, kill 58 innocents and injure over 500 in under 10 minutes from the 32nd floor of a nearby hotel. Bump stocks were banned after the Route 91 attack, but in June 2024, the Supreme Court of the United States overturned that ban, refusing to recognize the bump stocks machine gun style lethality. As officers closed in on his location, the shooter took his own life. Two additional victims succumbed to complications from their gunshot injuries later. Although difficult to document, at least 21 survivors committed suicide as a result of the trauma and survivor's guilt, and countless survivors still suffer from panic attacks. The true magnitude of loss from mass shootings is immeasurable.